Here is the UMIC below ground insulation checker from MC Miller. This device comes with two test leads and is very simple to use. It's always a good idea to test the battery before each use. To do so, you'll want to disconnect the test leads or make sure that your two contact clips are separated and not touching anything. Then you could press the push to test button. If the open yellow LED lights up, your battery is good to go. If all three LEDs were to light up at the same time, the battery is low and should be charged. Charging the UMIC requires a micro USB cable that connects to the port on top of the unit. You need to disconnect all the leads from the unit before you start to charge. The most important thing to remember when testing with the UMIC is to make sure that the pipe is not under any sort of cathodic protection. So any CP systems that could be affecting your pipeline that you plan to test should be turned off. Once you know that your pipeline CP is off, you can begin testing. Your black lead will always connect to the pipe or structure lead in the test station and the red will always connect to the casing lead. Press the push to test button. The UMIC can give you three different test results, one being the red short light that indicates a shorted casing. There are three levels of severity with a slow red and green blinking light being the lowest. Fast blinking light would be more severe and a solid red light meaning it's critical. The green pass LED, which means the casing is clear and not shorted. Then the yellow open result indicates a bad connection. You should inspect your leads on the unit as well as the test station leads. This is the UMIC below ground insulation checker from MC Miller.